Good resale with Supreme. Come on. Come on, everybody. It's a good resale week, y'all. Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Boone, coming at you all with a brand new drop list video for the new Supreme week that isn't trash. Let's go, folks. It's celebration time. Come on. It's a good resale week. We are hyped because it has been such a long time coming. I feel like dinosaurs existed the last time Supreme actually released something worth copying. So I'm actually super excited for this week. I thought this might be a collaboration week and so far it doesn't look like we're getting any collabs. However, Supreme's like, you know what? We've just been dropping some bullshit. Let's sprinkle the last of the good lookbook items and that's exactly what they did. We have a ton of lookbook heat. The swim trunks are all coming out. The S logos are pulling up. We got water yappers on deck. They're gonna be having like a whole summer splash party over at Supreme with slip and slides, water shorts. Always gonna be squirting each other with water guns while I sit here in my room and just cry about my bricks. <laughs> nah, but for real, if you're in New York, you have to start the water fight at the Supreme line because this is like the summer release, you could say. Um, there's so many swim trunks, there's so many summer accessories, so let's get into it. Smash the like you guys enjoy this video. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We're so close to doing a 33K giveaway. Um, we're just like 100 subs away, so please drop a subscription. Let's get in this video, though. I hope you all enjoy. So unfortunately, we do not have the full week yet from Supreme. Supreme, but I figured this was gonna be like the heart of the entire week. I doubt they're gonna add any other good items. So I just decided to make this video a little in advance. So I apologize for no retails or anything, but you already know we're gonna do our best to guesstimate these bitches. Let's get into it. Oh shit, I totally did not delete my screen recording, which would then force me to re-record this whole video. That definitely didn't happen or anything. Let's get into the video, all right? Shut the fuck up. I know, I accidentally deleted the screen recording, so we're doing this again, part two, Boone 2.0. Let's get in this drop list. I'm sorry for like all these delays. So we are back in the land of the drop list, and the premier item of this week is the Supreme Super Soaker 50 Water Blaster. What a title. I mean, this is probably for you rookies. Like, let's be real, boys. I don't need a Super Soaker when I got these puppies. Uh, all right, you... Some of you are too young for that, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm not that into this, honestly. It really does depend on retail, but like off the bat, I don't think I've ever been that hyped on this accessory. That's not to say it's not like a super dope accessory. It's just, I don't really see too much of a use for it. And in terms of like storage, it's a little difficult because it is like a weird bottom. You can't really stand it up. You'd have to keep it in its packaging, which I guess hopefully will look cool. So that might save it a bit, but I don't know, in terms of displayability or like use out of it, I wouldn't use it too often. As I've said, I would squirt myself in a room alone with this. Yeah, I know y'all really made fun of me for that sentence. I know it sounds sus, okay, but it was a joke. Back to the Super Soaker. I think it's a cool accessory. I've heard retail estimates of $88, and in which case, I would not see this reselling. Like, honestly, this will probably go like 20 to 30 over retail. Unless it's a really cheap retail, I would not really think it's gonna resell too well. This could be a really good item for double carding. I'm not sure how quick sellout times are gonna be for it. It really does depend on the retail. I think I'd probably just keep an eye on the EU sellout times when they release. Uh, I might end up double carding this. I'm not sure, but we will give it a thumbs up because I actually do think it's a cool accessory. Uh, let me know what you all think of this and if you're gonna be buying it. Next up, the S logo shorts. S logo shoddy has arrived and he needs to get equipped in his uniform. Y'all gonna have to salute the S logo when I have the full drippage of the S to the S to the S. We call that a triple S on this side, so I'm gonna have to get some triple S's for the feet to go with it. Um, actually, that sounds like the most cancerous outfit in the history of the universe. I would never put you guys through that, but I am going to go acquire a pair of these S logo shorts. I love them. You guys know I love my S logos. I just realized I'm not wearing one, so this is all kind of awkward, but I swear I love S logos. You guys know me. I need to go get a pair of these. I wish they were swim trunks. I don't think they are because it isn't mentioned. They're cotton PK, so these definitely aren't swim trunks. I just really hope these don't end up cracking all over the S. Like that would really be a disappointment because that's like the highlight of the item. Uh, my favorite colorway definitely is the red. I think the red on white is just the classic Supreme color. I think it gives the most pop to the S of all the colorways while still having a bit of color in there. I think the black and navy is a little more boring, but you cannot go wrong on these. I think all the colors are just amazing. I only wish they did more because I'm such a huge fan. 
I'm definitely acquiring. This is a must cop. So please, my resellers, just go for something else. Like, this is gonna resell, but please don't go for it. Let the kid acquire one time. I would guess this is gonna be like a 128, 138 retail. And I would say resale is gonna be 170, 180. It could be more or less by like 10 or 20 bucks, but I think 170, 180 sounds like a pretty safe estimate, at least for week one. Um, 200 would be really good for these. I love them, so like, just come on, let me cop. Moving on, we have the Supreme Castelli cycling jersey, and I'm gonna need all my cyclers to just plug your ears one time. This isn't meant for you all, like I don't want you guys to get upset or in your feelings, but like, oh my Christ, if you end up buying one of these and you don't cycle or plan on riding it on a bike ride or some shit, stop it stop it like please just get, get some, some help because this is not going to help out your fits like your lifestyle like just don't even think about it. i know some of you want to ball out and look like young box logo boy but this is not a box logo okay first off this is a cycling jersey no one in the history of the universe has ever been laid from a cycling jersey that is a fact you all can check the history books 10 times because i swear to god like cycling jerseys are not cool ever if you're not a bicycler like if you actually use it for its purpose i get it then it's pretty fire if i saw some dude in the bike lane with this shit I'd be like, all right, like, I see what's up. Like, you can actually hop in the whip and we can be homies because that's pretty fire. I don't have a car though, so that actually wouldn't happen, fuck. But for real, like, don't buy this and then rock it in a fit pick. Like, it's just, it's not gonna be cool, all right? It's gonna look weird on you, I guarantee it. The material is gonna be really thin. It's probably gonna fit you kind of small, so, ah, just, God damn it, this is like the most meme -ish shit Supreme has done in quite some time. Am I gonna cop this? I don't know, I actually have no idea. I. It really depends on EU sell out times. I know you guys are wondering if this is going to resell. Many of you probably think it will just based off the branding and I honestly don't know. Like I don't think I could give you an answer where I'm super confident if it's gonna resell or not. I would guess this does end up reselling. It does kind of depend on the retail. If this is like 160, 170, I wouldn't touch it. But if it's more like 130, maybe even 140, I'd go for it and you could probably get a bit of money. The white and red and blue colorways are not bad. This fucking Gucci Sabaro pizza yeah. shit is not ever chill just stop it don't even think about this color that's the christmas <laughs> elf like on his way to deliver presents look but the blue and the red i'm okay with i definitely think the blue is like the chillest most not as cringy of all the items but um yeah let me know if you guys are copping these moving on we have the s logo polo and i don't think i'm gonna end up getting oh. this one unfortunately i already look enough like a basic ass white boy lesbian let me say and i don't really need this whole polo look because i just I look like I should be kicking it at the country club or something. It's not a good look for me. I legit look like some frat boy when I rock a polo, so I'm not gonna be getting these S logos. I do think that they're cool. They're not as cool as the shorts in my opinion, but let me know if you guys like these still. I definitely think, again, the red or maybe the navy, the black as well, honestly, pretty much every dark color. I don't think the yellow works too well, especially on the polo. In terms of resale, if these were really cheap, they could have some resale, like they're 118, 1, 20 130 like i wouldn't push it over 130 though and i don't think they're gonna resell for too much money definitely go bigger sizes xl large small uh moving on the logo applique water shorts and these are actually pretty gas like i have to say this is a pretty good week from supreme the swim trunks and just shorts always do pretty well with supreme and i definitely see these going for some bread uh especially the right colorways i think this red the black and maybe even this little like mint shit the mint's kind of fire. I actually am rocking with it. It is kind of like the, I don't know, obscure colorway of the bunch. Even though you can't see the Supreme too well on it, I still think it's a pretty hitter item. I would say these could end up being the best selling, but it's also kind of a gamble. The red and black, you're safe. Even the navy is pretty nice. Again, the yellow is not my favorite, but... Damn, this is a really good week with Supreme. There's actually a lot to choose from. If you guys plan on going for any of these shorts, like I really need to know what your game plan is because I can't even decide for myself. I do see resale on these 100%. Like water shorts always do well with Supreme. They only drop like two water shorts per year, only in the summer, so they're definitely a premier item. Moving on, we have the rhinestone basketball jerseys. In a week full of such good items, I think this is an easy pass. These are not gonna resell, you're not gonna make money off of these 
uh, yeah, I just wouldn't even try it. Like, there's no Raptors colorway, so it's irrelevant. Not that I'm a Raptors fan like that, but I feel like that's the only colorway that's going for bread right now. So that's a miss from me. Moving on, the Rhinestone Basketball Shorts. I mean, they are slightly better than the jerseys. I still don't think I would end up buying these. They're rhinestone, which is not my look. It's not something I'm that into, but it's not ugly. Like I wouldn't clown someone if they wore these and they might actually end up looking really cool in person. I would definitely go for the shorts above the jersey and these could potentially have some resale. Like actually the black ones, I could see some pretty decent resale, especially if they don't look bad with the rhinestones. It's kind of annoying to not be able to see this stuff in person. I'm gonna be trying to look at some drop photos to see how these fit and stuff but for now I think it's a pass and finally the Supreme Castelli cycling hat I swear to God again if you're not a cyclist or anything like that don't no, no, do it no. like stop it just I know you have these dark thoughts in your head that you might look cool in this I'm here to tell you no I'm gonna be your voice of reasoning no way does this look cool on your head like maybe if you're the just most obscure dude you're gonna have to be a funky ass dude to pull off this hat i just don't think it's gonna happen like for me never in my life you would have to catch me dead to put one of these on my fucking head bro because i just know i'd be looking goofy of all the colors the white and the black but these are not going to resell i doubt it if god damn it if these resell man i'm gonna be beefing because like no way bro why Ah, they're, they're gonna resell, aren't they? Fuck, dude. I swear to God, just because I've been bashing this shit, it's gonna go for bread. I'm not trying to be a hater for the people that like the items because it is funny. It's cool to see Supreme do some, like, obscure collabs and everything like that, but... This is like maximum meme value, like bicycling cycle fucking jerseys with box logos all over it is just... That's corny as hell. I'm sorry. If you're a cyclist, I feel it. If not, try to pass on them. I don't see resell on the hats, and again... I just cannot make up my mind on these jerseys. That's like the most hit or miss item of the week. You could end up making some good bread off those, but like they could also kind of do bad because it is goofy. I would go for bigger sizes, but that's the video. My best resale items are the shorts as well as the jersey. The super soaker is an interesting one, but unless the retail is cheap, I don't see the resale value of it. Even these water shorts are gonna hit. Like this is a really good week. If you're saying otherwise, I don't know. Feel free to take a nap because just more for me. I would love to buy several items from this week and we're about to in a live cop tomorrow. So drop a sub if you want to check that out. I appreciate everyone that watched this video all the way through. It was very annoying to have to record this twice, but I love my subscribers. I'll do anything for you guys. So I had to do it to them one time. That's the video. It's been your boy Boone. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah, live cop Thursday. Help me out with what to go for. I do not have a game plan yet. I'm out though. Peace.